here. We're getting ready to launch and set up the deeper fish finder. See if we can sync it up to the phone here. says it's connecting to the Deeper Pro Plus. It's updating Deeper. I don't know what that means. It says it's connected now. We're going to be testing the unit out today back behind Sullivan's Island. Looking for some redfish, some trout, maybe a flounder, and that nice, tasty ladyfish today. On there. Now it says it's updated. It says it was successful. I've got 99% battery life. It's restoring connection. It says it's now connected. They say when you're when you're hooking this thing up that you should be as close to it as possible. So, so uh, it says too shallow or too deep. So I'm probably in about two foot of water. I don't know if that's uh, an issue, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with it. Um, as you can see, I've got my Dragonfly. Going here. And uh, it's, it's not uh, reading either because it's got at least a two foot minimum. Let's see here, maybe uh, detail. We'll throw on the fish icons just to have some fun with that. I really don't feel that really shows it to fish. I wonder if I change it to 290. No, it's, it's flashing green there, but uh, we'll keep it at 90. And uh, I guess I'm going to hook it up here to uh, and uh, there's the unit set up I think uh, while I'm waiting on my fishing buddy here I'm just gonna paddle out and see if I can get it to read uh, some deeper water. Um, so we'll we'll figure this thing out as we go on through the day. All right, as you can see, I'm in deeper water. It's reading about six foot two or whatever, and my raverine is saying five nine. That could be all dependent on uh, on transducer location. Uh, and height. I suppose if I wanted to I could take this flex track here and submerge the ball a little bit to uh, get it pretty darn close. Um, both devices are reading water temperature at 84 degrees. So uh, I think I'm not going to adjust it. It's 5-4 on the Raymarine, 6 on, uh, on this uh, and uh, so when my buddy gets done loading his stuff up here we'll uh, we'll head up a little fish spot down there I don't know if it really is a fish but it says it is right down close to the bottom we'll uh, see what happens here
I try and try putting on the blind now. We're going to test it. Oh, my phone's ringing. My phone's ringing and my buddy's calling me. Except I'm going to decline because I'm fishing. So yeah, the little call icon like on my phone normally does when I'm on GPS mapping or something like that. So uh, it seems like it would work uh, to receive phone calls. So that's a good plus, I guess. Alright, we've been four hours in the fishing, and uh, yeah. Oh. Next time is some type of uh, battery pack to the phone, or um, maybe a uh, solar panel from Net Zero or Zero, whatever they're called, and then uh, see if we can keep this thing charged because it looks like it's going to be about maybe a five, six hour thing. Here's a bait crashing behind me. I'm going to go investigate. So. Uh, I think we'll conclude the test uh, when I get back, but uh, so far I'm really enjoying the, um, the deeper fish finder. It's, uh, it's really handy. I wish maybe my phone was a little bit bigger of a screen, but uh, and with uh, the sun compared to, uh, compared to the ray marine, you can see that maybe the gray marine has a better display, but you know, that's all not a fault of the deeper fish finder. It is uh, primarily the fault of my phone versus the gray marine. So far, I'm not disappointed with, uh, with this. After all, I did catch a ladyfish. In fact, I caught two others. Um, it's, it, it's helping me find my structure that I need species and it's even identified some fish so it's uh it's probably worth the investment if you don't have a fish finder and you want one that you can use in a kayak maybe in a boat we're going to test that later here uh, ice fishing that will probably happen sometime but not in the immediate future and maybe even fishing from the shoreline um, i think it's uh really worth uh worth the investment. I'm thinking maybe we'll even have to give it a try, let's say, surf fishing. I don't know if that'll even work, but uh, let's, uh, I'm going to sign off and uh, can this one today, and then we'll uh, see what happens in a few more weeks when we get out for some walleye fishing in northern Minnesota. All right, this is uh, Daryl Olson, or as you know me, at Yak Angler Dan Olson, and we will uh, see you then. Thank <laughs> you.